Good evening everybody and welcome back to another video and um, first of all I want to say Happy New Year. I haven't been on here for a while due to family commitments and Christmas was on top of us but now we've passed all of that and we're now into 2022. So Happy New Year to all of my subscribers. Thank you very much for subscribing and for following my channel. Um, so this video, I have been asked a couple of times to do this video and it's for this beautiful shawl here behind me. This shawl is called the virus shawl. Absolutely nothing to do with the pandemic that's going on at the moment. Um, it has been around long before uh, coronavirus has been around. Um, oops, I'm toppling over. So the virus shawl got its name because it's such a lovely shawl, a lovely stitch, a lovely pattern that as soon as it went onto the internet, it went completely viral. Everybody wanted the pattern, everybody wanted to make it. So therefore it was nicknamed or named the virus shawl. Um, at this stage now with the virus, the coronavirus being what it is, I think we really should rename this beautiful shawl because it is absolutely stunning um, the shawl can be worked in any amount of um, any different types of yarn as in what I have done here this is a very thin um, mixture of cotton and acrylic um, yarn and it gives it a nice lightweight uh, texture to it so it's lovely for a summer evening when it's a bit cooler to throw over your shoulders um, and also this one that I'm wearing is a, the virus shawl again, but it is in chunky. So I just wanted to show you the difference. Like you can still see the pattern. It stands out very well in both in the chunky and also in the, um, the thinner yarn. So I'm going to wrap up again because it's quite cold out. Um, I'm wondering how cold it is with you. Um, Okay, so without further ado, if you are all ready, you can grab um, your DK, your lightweight cotton, uh, you can grab any acrylic, any chunky, any iron, but make sure you have the correct hook size to work your yarn. So for example, with this uh, thin uh, yarn behind me I used the three and a half millimeter yarn, um, crochet hook and with the chunky one I used um, I think it was a eight millimeter crochet hook because it is quite chunky so just make sure you have the correct um, hook um, for the yarn that you're using so I'm going to work this uh, virus shawl in the wonderful um, yarns I get from Wolfamus and um, these yarns um, are and um, gives an ombre effect okay it blends down from one color right down into a different color at the bottom and I've quite a lot of them in my uh, stock and I had quite um, a difficult task to do which was to choose one of them for this uh, tutorial I eventually chose one um, which had a little charm attached to it. Um, Andreas, the guy in Wolfmas, attaches these little charms so you know where you can actually start and you pull the yarn out from the middle. But this one has hope written on it and I hope that this year we'll see the end of this virus and everybody can get back to living some sort of a, a normal life. So that's why I chose this yarn, which I'm going to use. It starts off in the center um, with yellow, then it goes to a light pink, then it goes to a nice cerise pink, then some purple and ends up with a lovely um, blue color. Okay, so without further ado, 
if you're all ready. Grab your hook, grab your yarn, grab a cover, and let's get started. Okay, so if you decide to go onto Wolfamus um, website and choose to buy some of this beautiful yarn, just to show you, this yarn is made up of three strands. You can see the three strands. They are very, very thin. And I think what happens is they um, wind out a certain length of um, each color. And when they get so far, they will cut one of these little strands and they will tie in the next color. They'll continue on for another while. They'll cut the second yellow strand, for example, and tie in the same color again. Continue on winding it out for another while and they will um, cut the third one. And then you will have another block of color and they'll continue on that way, adding in different colors. Um, it is quite, uh, it can be a bit difficult to get used to because they aren't wound together like normal um, yarns are normally wound together. But it's not too difficult to use. I've used it plenty of times now and it's, you know, once you hold your, have a good kind of tight tension on it, you're, you're fine. Okay, so to start... OK, first of all, before I start, actually, this pattern seems difficult. It's a bit tricky, but it at the end of the day, it is only a four row repeat. You are increasing at either end of the um, of the shawl. Um, but I would tell you to make sure you keep a count on your stitches. Okay, and I'll show you that as I go along. Okay, so first of all, we're going to make a slip knot. Okay, and we are going to make a chain of 10 and then we will slip stitch into our first chain that we have made. So a chain of 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. And then we are going to slip stitch into the first chain that we have made. We're making a circle. So slip stitch is yarn around and pull through the two loops on your hook. Okay, and you have your circle. Okay, from there we're going to chain three. And our chain three is our first treble crochet stitch. Okay, so our chains at the beginning are counted as a, a stitch. All right. After that, we're going to work 19 trebles into the middle of this circle. Now, be careful you don't go into your chains. You want to go into the center of the circle. So your treble crochet stitch is yarn around your hook into your center of your circle, yarn around and pull through, yarn around again, pull through the first two oops, and yarn around again and pull through the second two. And again, we're going to repeat that another 18 times, yarn around our hook into the center of our circle, yarn around and pull through, yarn around, pull through two, yarn around and pull through two. Now you probably have noticed I'm catching my tail end 
um, just to weave it in as I am working. Okay, so yarn around again into the center, yarn around and pull through. You have your three loops, yarn around and pull through two, and yarn around and pull through two. Yarn around again into your center, yarn around and pull through, yarn around and pull through two, yarn around and pull through two. Okay, so I have made, I have made one, two, three, four trebles and my first three chain is my fifth treble. So I'm going to continue on. I'll pause the video and I'll continue on and I'll meet you when I have my 19 travels completed. So now I have completed my 19 travels. OK, but as I said, this row, this pattern requires you to count and count and count. So let's just count them. This is my first. My first. Oops. My first three chains there, so that's the first travel, so that's one. I'm going to count from the top. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and the last one is twenty. So from here then, I'm going to chain three, one, two and three and I'm going to turn my work. OK. You will turn your work at the end of every row. All right. So from here, I'm going to work one treble crochet stitch into each stitch around. Now, because I have said to you already, the chain three at the beginning is your first treble stitch. We don't need to go into the treble stitch, the top of the treble stitch here. So I'm going to wrap my yarn around my hook and I'm going to go into the next treble stitch. Wrap my yarn around again. Pull through, wrap my yarn around again, pull through two, wrap my yarn around again, and pull through the last two. I'm going to do another treble stitch into the top of the one below, pull through, wrap my yarn around again, pull through two, wrap my yarn around again, and pull through two. Wrap my yarn around my hook into my top of the stitch below, wrap my yarn around again and pull through, yarn around again, pull through two, yarn around again and pull through two. And you're going to continue all the way across the tops of the treble stitches until you get to the end of your row. Now, I suppose I should have said at the beginning of the video um, these yarn cakes have 1000 meters in it and that gives that beautiful um, red and peach and cream shawl that I made. It'll give you a really nice long shawl. My uh, chunky one, I think I used two balls of chunky and I did it a long time ago and unfortunately I can't remember the name of it. Um, but you know, three 100 gram balls of um, a double knit yarn would give you a nice big shawl. I have seen this this shawl done in beautiful cotton, 100% cotton um, in plain colours. And it's just the pattern is just absolutely gorgeous in, in anything that you work it in. Just go into the tops of your stitches and do trebles all the way across. 
And when you have that done, you should have 20 treble cro uh, crochet stitches when you get to the end. So I'm going to pause the video again. So I've got to the end of my row and I'm just going to check and make sure I have my 20 treble crochet stitches. So this is my three chain that I started off with and that's my first treble crochet stitch. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen and nineteen. I need to do one more. I deliberately left it out, but just to show you, you're going to be working. The last treble crochet stitch is going to go into your chain, the third chain that um, you worked on the last round. So yarn around into the chain, yarn around and pull through, yarn around and pull through two, yarn around and pull through two and now I have my 20 treble crochet stitches okay so you will have a half moon shape okay and again we're going to start off the next row and we're going to chain three one two and three and we're going to turn our work now, on this one, we are going to work a chain and a treble, okay? So we are going to chain one more. We're going to skip this treble stitch and we're going to work into the top of the next treble stitch. With a treble. We're going to chain one. We're going to make a treble in the next treble stitch. We're going to chain one. We're going to make a treble in the next treble stitch. We're going to chain one. And we're going to make a treble in the next treble stitch. And you're going to continue in this fashion. Chain one, chain one treble. Until you get to the end down here making sure you make a treble stitch into the third chain of from the row previous. So chain one, treble one. Chain one, So I'm going to pause the video again and you continue on working in this fashion to the end of the row. So when you have finished that round, you should have something that's looking like this. So again, I would always recommend at the end of every row count. So we worked a treble crochet stitch and one chain and every treble crochet crochet stitch went into the treble crochet stitch below so we should have 20 cro um, treble crochet stitches so this is our chain three our chain four so that's our first treble one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen and my last one there is 20. And I worked that into the uh, third chain of the three chain that I worked at the beginning of the last row. I hope that makes sense. So you should have something now resembling this. 
Okay. Now our next row is a little bit different in that we aren't working any treble crochet stitches and we are working a lot of little bridges of chains. You'll see now in a minute what I mean. So before we, I always do my turning chain at the end of the row. Some people will turn the work and then do the turning chain. So it's entirely up to yourself. So on the next row, we are actually going to do a chain of 10. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then we're going to turn our work, which actually turned for me on its own. <laughs> okay. So we're going to skip our first chain space and we are going to work into the second chain space here. And we are just going to make a double crochet stitch into the chain space, not into the chain, not into the treble of either side, into the chain space. And it's a double crochet stitch. So it's just yarn around, pull through, yarn around and pull through two. And that's basically just pinning down this big loop of chains. From there, we're going to make four chain, one, two, three, four. And again, we're going to skip this chain space and we're working into the next chain space. And again, it's a double crochet stitch. So yarn around and pull through, yarn around and pull through two. And again, we're going to do exactly the same thing again. Pull our chain four, one, two, three, four. We're going to skip the next chain space and do a double crochet stitch into the next chain space. And again, a third time. So one, two, three, four. Skip the next chain space and into the next chain space with a travel crochet stitch. So from here, just go back. We have a big loop of a chain of 10. And we have three smaller loops of chains of four. So now we're kind of into the center part of the shawl. And your center part is going to be the same all the time. So it's going to be a chain of seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're going to skip the next chain space and we're going to work into the next chain space again with a double crochet stitch. And we're going to repeat that again. So it's a chain of seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. We're going to skip the next chain space and work into the next chain space with a double crochet stitch. And that's the center of the shawl. Those two seven chain spaces is the center of your shawl. So now we're going to repeat what we have on this side, on this side. So again, we're going to work four chains, one, two, three, four. We are going to skip the next chain space and walk into the next chain space with a double crochet stitch. And we're going to work another four chain, one, two, three, four. 
and again skip the next chain space walk into the next chain space and we're going to repeat that again so it's one two three four skip the next one and work into the next chain space with a double crochet stitch also remember I always use UK terms so my double crochet stitch if you are tuning in from America it is a single crochet stitch etc etc so now we are at the end from here we're going to chain seven one two three four five six seven and also work a treble crochet stitch into the top sorry my one has gone funny So the treble crochet stitch is going to be worked into the fourth chain from the previous row. So one, two, three, four. So this guy here into the fourth chain. There we go. So there we have oh, done that upside down. Now wasn't that very clever of me? <laughs> okay. I'm just going to go back to here. So again it's chain seven, one, two, three, four, five six seven and then we need to do let's make sure I have it the right way around this time a treble crochet stitch into the fourth chain now and again check back so on this row you should have a chain of 10, 3, 4 chains, or chain of, of 10, we have 3, 4 chain spaces, or 4 chain bridges, whatever you like to call them, 2 chains of 7, 3, 4 chains on this side, and this is a chain of 7 and a treble crochet stitch, which makes up 10 chains altogether. Okay, so now we are actually going to fill in these chain spaces with treble uh, crochet stitches and we are going to be making little bridges of chains across the tops of these. You'll see now exactly what I mean. So now the end of our row we're going to chain three which is our first treble of the next row into our large chains here chain spaces here we're going to work nine more trebles this chain of three is our first treble so in effect we're going to have ten treble crochet stitches in our big loop here so we're going to work First one, one, two, three, four. Continue in this space and work in your treble crochet stitches. I'll just pause the video for now. So I have worked my 10 treble crochet stitches 
is a chain of three. That's my first treble crochet stitches and then nine treble crochet stitches into the chain space. From here, I'm going to go into my ch four chain space here and I'm going to work a treble crochet stitch. It kind of pins down this um, uh, section here. So from there, I'm going to make a chain of four. So one, two, three, four. And I'm going to do a double crochet stitch into this chain space here. Oops. Okay, and again, I'm going to repeat that again. So it's a chain of four, one, two, three, four, and I'm going to do a double crochet stitch into this space here, which will bring us now over to the center part of our shawl. And in the seven chain spaces that we have, the two ch seven chain spaces side by side, we're going to work 10 treble crochet stitches into each space. So, again, it's yarn around your hook into the chain space, yarn around and pull through, yarn around and pull through two, yarn around and pull through two. So that's your first treble crochet stitch. So we're going to work 10 in this one and 10 in the next one. And keep counting, keep checking, make sure you have 10 in each. So if you think you have your 10, stop your work, count back just to be doubly sure. I'm going to pause the video now. So now I have completed the um, middle section. So I have worked 10 treble crochet stitches on each side. So double check. I have double checked. I'm not going to go back over it now. So we're going to continue now to finish off this side. And it's the same as what we did previously. So we're going to do a double crochet stitch into the four chain space. We're going to chain four. One, two, three, four. We're going to do a double crochet stitch into the next chain space, four chain space. And we're going to work four trap, four chain again. One, two, three, four. And into this four chain space, we're going to work a double crochet stitch. Now we're over to the large uh, chain space here at the end. And into that, we're going to work 10 treble crochet stitches. So we're going to yarn around into your chain space. That's your first one. That's your second one. I'll just pause now and continue on working treble crochet stitches into this until I have the 10. So now I have finished my last 10 treble crochet stitches in the last um, in the large chain space here. So you should now have something that kind of resembles this, which is we have our 10 treble crochet stitches here. We have a um, chain of four. We have another chain of four. Then into our middle, we have 10 treble crochet stitches on this side and 10 treble crochet stitches on the other side. And again, we should have chain of four, chain of four, and 10 treble crochet stitches on this side.
So just double check your work again. Make sure you have all of those stitches. And if so, we'll continue on. So the next row is chain three. And turn your work. Now on this row, we are just going to work a treble crochet stitch into each treble crochet stitch below. We our three chain here um, is our first treble crochet stitch. So we do not go into this treble crochet stitch here. We're going to go into this one here. So yarn around your hook and into the treble crochet stitch. Yarn around and pull through. Yarn around and pull through two. Yarn around and pull through two. Yarn around again into your stitch. And continue all the way across the tops of your treble crochet stitches until you get to your 10th one. And again, I have completed the 10 treble crochet stitches. Now I'm going to work a double crochet stitch into the chain, uh, the four chain space. And I am going to work four chains. One, two, three, four. And I'm going to work a uh, double crochet stitch into this space here. So from there now we are going to work treble crochet stitches into the tops of these treble crochet stitches we've already worked. This here, here is our double crochet stitch that we worked into this chain, four chain space below. So we're going to work our treble crochet stitch into this one here. So yarn around your hook into your treble crochet stitch, yarn around and pull through, yarn around and pull through two, yarn around and pull through two. And again, yarn around your hook into your treble crochet stitch, yarn around and pull through, yarn around and pull through two, yarn around and pull through two. And continue across the tops of this ten, um, these ten treble crochet, or yeah, treble crochet stitches. Continue all the way across to here, and then you can continue all the way across this set of ten treble crochet stitches as well, with just a treble crochet stitch into each and every one. I'll pause the video and meet you when we are finished here. So now I have completed the set of 10 here and the set of 10 here. I just want to point out when you are checking to make sure you have your 20 um, travel crochet stitches. This here is not a travel crochet stitch here. This is actually your four chains from the row below held with your double crochet stitch. So when you are counting your treble crochet stitches. Make sure you don't count this fella here as a treble crochet stitch. This is your first treble crochet stitch here. Does that make sense? So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then on this side, I should have my ten as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 9 and 10. Okay, so that's my 20, tre 20 treble crochet stitches. So from there again, we're going to do a double crochet stitch into the four chain space. We're going to chain four. One, two, three, Four, and then work a double crochet stitch into the four chain space here. 
and then to finish off this row we're going to work 10 treble crochet stitches across this set of treble crochet stitches. We're skipping our double crochet stitch and we're working into the top of our treble crochet stitch here. So that's our first treble crochet stitch worked and I'm going to continue on um, to the end of this set. I'll just pause the video again. So now I've completed the 10 treble crochet stitches across and let's just count them. That's the double crochet stitch pulling up our four chain space there. So that's not a treble crochet stitch. This is our first treble crochet stitch. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So now we're ready to start the next row. And again, we're going to chain three we're actually going to chain four because this is the row where we work a treble crochet stitch and one chain. So the chain four is our treble crochet stitch plus the chain. Okay. Now we're going to skip. We're going to skip here because we have worked our treble crochet stitch here. And we're going to go into the next treble crochet stitch with a treble crochet. We're going to work one chain and we're going to work a treble crochet stitch into our next stitch. We're going to work one chain. And we're going to work a treble crochet stitch into the next stitch. So we're going to pause the video again. You work one chain, one treble into each treble crochet stitch across. So now I have worked one treble and one chain all across this set. And again, I'm going to count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So now, we normally would do a chain of four and do a double crochet stitch into the chains below. But this time, we are just going to go straight across and do exactly what we've done over here. So we're going to do a treble crochet stitch into the top of the treble crochet stitch here. Okay. And we're going to work one chain into the next treble. And one chain and continue all the way across the 20 treble crochet stitches that are here. So now you should have something looking like this and I have counted and I have made sure I have my 20 treble crochet stitches here. Okay so then you go to your next arc as I like to call it or your next set of treble crochet stitches and again, we're going to go into our first treble crochet stitch and we're working one treble, one chain in each treble crochet stitch across till you get to the end. So one treble and one chain. One treble one chain and again I'm going to pause until you get to the end and you can work across till you get to the end of your work. So now your work should be looking something like this. If you're working uh, using a, a different yarn as in a DK or an iron weight yarn it will be a little bit thicker looking but because I'm using the, um, the cakes yarn it's a lot finer. Okay. 